Thanks for tuning back in. This is Amiya Dabolka from Exploring Excel. You can email me at exploringofficeexcel at gmail.com. This is video number 43. List box. Add items. Three methods. Let's move on to our sheet. Okay. Now in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to add items in a list box. Now this is some random names. VBA and all. So now I am going to show you the three methods. How to do it. First one is the basic method. First, how to create our user form and then in insert a list box. Now, pressing Alt F11 and I am just going to the Visual Basic Editor. You can do the same thing by going to the Developer tab and then go into Visual Basics. You can also click the right click, click, click on the Customize the Ribbon and if this is unchecked, please do check this. Okay, to proceed for the video. Then I will press Alt and followed by F11 to open the Visual Basic Editor. Now this is a Project Explorer. In this Project Explorer, I will select which is my project. Currently, this name is Book 1. I have not saved it yet. And this workbook will be available for download or from my Dropbox shared folder. Now in this VBA project, Book 1, I am going to add a module. Now it is a Sheets object. Now when I will insert, I want to add a user form, not a module. I will just click on the user form. It can it added a forms. Now this is a user form. Firstly, I am going to give you a name for the user form. Like in the caption, I will just write list box demo. Do not call it as a name. Name is a unique identifier of the thing, and the caption is the title of the list uh, this user form now I'm going to add a uh, list box now what is a list box list box gives a list of all items but you need to add those items it can be dynamic in nature or static in nature no matters when I just click the list box I will just click I will just increase the size of list box to add multiple items okay now this is a name by list box one this is a default name you can just go and change the name of this if you want a better programming but I will keep the same name for this video tutorial now I am going to add this item now if I double click this I get an event known as list box one dot click but if I get it clicked then I want to add an item no I don't need this I can just go and just skill select the user form it by default set as a click I have another control named initialize I will select that I don't need this code and I will just select initialize now in this initialize you can just access like just double clicking this you can access this and just right click this code and go to view code you can see this code okay now first thing I'm going to uh, see this is the what the code comes but I want to just show you the basic method first basic method how to add an items for example I will just say me me reference uh, represents the this workbook me dot me dot list box one this is your name of the uh, pro, uh, this name of the list box is list box one we will always reference this list box one not that the name of that if we give the name something else we will reference only this name this mainly happens with the label if you name the label with name and the label name is label one and you have this caption is name so you should reference the na uh, label one not the name okay me dot list box one dot simply no miss add item now I will add item now if I space the space there are two parameters these are PVRG item PVRG index I will just write the name of the item like I will write my name only this much okay now I want to add another item I will just select the same code control C control V control V I will just write and down and then I will write exploring okay now let's run the code this is the finish this finishes our code now when the user form gets run I will press press F8 to debug to each now it will first add a 
then the bot then exploring excel now it's opens this is my clickable and movable list box name i will close this now i'm showing you going to show you another method for this same but now this code becomes very big to write me dot list box one so instead you can use a control name as with statement with me dot list box one dot add item no not not here then i will just write here and with okay now in between this i will just write dot add item it still works it is a with command add item and i will write my name dot add item my name my surname dot add item and i will write exploring okay you can just copy paste and write this anyhow you can now this gets added now i will just make this as a comment so that you can access this later now with this i will just see check it out the code let's press run it do the same thing let's debug the macro press f8 it ignores the comment and it adds now now i will just going to see the another method that is a third one method okay so for the third one method you don't need any at all a code i will just show you the what is the technique needed now i am going to the sheet and this all my all my things like i have some names random names or anything i will go to the name box and write the name name now this is a now a name range you can just go to the formula tab and going to the name manager you get there this is a name now you can make is a dynamic in nature like uh, of using the offset function rows column and all you can make it expandable ranges like if you add another uh, 12th item it automatically gets add with it but for this video i am just it's not focusing on the how to add a name ranges but is focusing on how to use the list box control so i just named it as a name now i'm going to the vba pressing alt f11 now i don't need of an any code i will just make it a comment block it as a comment and then going to the this double click and now selecting the user form so now selecting the list box one or else i will add a uh, list box i will just add a list box so that it would be better to access the code now this is a lame list box too now in this i will just go to the row source and in this row source i will just write equals to name it automatically pops up now here i will just uncode this with so that you can simultaneously see the both now this is a two methods two to three methods are over regarding this now press display play this was first only added from this if you change anything from here so for example i am changing vba or my it automatically gets updated that is the cool feature regarding that see it's got updated now also it got updated but for this it's not a user friendly when you creating an application it's not a user friendly you friendly cannot access this code but for this is a two methods you can do and just list box in another video i will show you more about the list box control so thanks for watching this file is available for downloads and hope you like the video and do keep watching and do keep exploring watch my other videos and feel free to subscribe and watch more videos